Yo, what up, though? Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave a comment. The San Francisco got some choices to make, man. Who do they pay? Do they pay the wide receiver, Brian IU? Because he want to get paid. He trying to get paid. He keep on making posts on Instagram and Twitter. He want this money. And Brock Purdy is due for a big contract, too, man. His contract is up next year. He not getting paid that much money, man. This the only year in the NFL since he's been starting. He's going to make over a million dollars, man. This year he's due to make $1.1 million. And he's trying to cash in, too. And you can't keep everybody. That's the downfall of paying the quarterback money like that. You can't keep everybody around, man. And eventually, you're going to lose people, man. So, do the 49 trust and like Brock Purdy enough to get him a contract? <laughs> or do they go back in the NFL draft and find Brock Purdy replacement? I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think Brock Purdy has to get paid from the 49ers, man. I'm going to tell y'all why. Brock Purdy, since he's been the starting quarterback for the 49ers, he won a lot of football games. He won a lot of playoff games. He even been to the Super Bowl with the 49ers, man. And he is a young quarterback that was a late-round draft pick. And I don't think the 49ers trust Kyle Shanahan to draft another quarterback again. Like, we done traded for quarterbacks. We done drafted quarterbacks. We done got you Bart Purdy. He got into the Super Bowl, and now y'all don't want to pay him? They going to have to pay him, man. The Bart Purdy contract will make or break Kyle Shanahan's career with the San Francisco 49ers, man. And, and Brandon Ayuk will be the odd man out this year, man. But it will be more people getting cut, too, once the 49ers get Bart Purdy their money, man. Because the 49ers don't have that much money to work with in the beginning, man. And he got to get paid. Like, he might not get paid 60 or 55. He might get paid something where something around like 35 or anywhere between 35 and 45 mil a year. I'm going to be real with y'all. Even though people want to say he's just a system quarterback, but he's been playing real good in the NFL. And at the end of the day, what difference do it make if he's a system quarterback if he getting signed to that football team? Like, if you think you can find a better quarterback, be my guest. But Shanahan, time is ticking. At the 49ers. I don't think he got that much time to look for a whole nother quarterback. And he already have a quarterback in the building. That's just me, man. And he looking at Kirk Cousins' contract. And Daniel Jones. Both Jones and Cousins both got paid. And they never did nothing in the playoffs. They got about two or three playoff wins together at quarterback. And Bar I, don't forget, I don't know how many he got. He probably got three or four playoff wins. But he been to the Super Bowl. He'd have been to the NFC Championship game further than both of them quarterbacks put together. So he's going to get paid, man. And the 49ers got a choice to make. Do you pay him this year or next year? Because they can't wait another year and not pay him. Then after next year, they can't franchise tag him. But you be playing games with quarterback and people trying to get paid, man. Brock Purdy trying to get paid. Like, he never signed a big deal in the NFL. He wasn't no first round or no second round draft picks, man. He The highest he ever got paid, like I said, it would be this year where he get paid $1.1 million. And that ain't nothing for a starting quarterback in the NFL that took a team to the Super Bowl. Like, he wants some millions, man. He is trying to get $35 or $45 million a year, man. Quarterbacks is getting paid fifty a year. And he only getting paid nine hundred something thousand a year. He trying to get paid ASAP, man. I know he probably knock on their door like this. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to negotiate. Like, I'm ready, I'm ready to sign them, them papers. I'm trying to see that bank account grow bigger, man. He trying to get his money. And Brandon IQ is the odd man out. The 49 will probably trade him because they're not going to re-sign him. They can't re-sign him. They already paying C-Mac money. Debo getting paid. You got my man on defense. You got the big boy on the offensive line. You brought in free agents. Like, everybody can't get paid. Everybody can't get paid, man. But the 49 have to ask themselves this once they get Brock Purdy that contract. Do you feel like you can win the Super Bowl with Bart Purdy within the next four or five years if you start losing key players due to the cap? That's what they got to add themselves. If they feel like they can, give him his money. He's going to get his money regardless, man, because I don't think the 49ers are going to let Kyle Shanahan draft another quarterback in development. All, all that takes time and process. And Kyle Shanahan ain't got enough time left with the 49ers, I think. Because you'd have been you'd have been to two Super Bowls you done lost both of them. You done lost the NFC Championship game. You might not be the guy we need 
to win the Super Bowl with for the 49ers, man. The owners looking at that. Like, we trying to win a Super Bowl now. Then Kyle Shanahan give Brock Purdy the money he want. Will Brock Purdy flop? And if he do flop, Kyle Shanahan will be fired. He will be fired from the 49ers, man. Because that is the quarterback you picked, and that is the quarterback you wanted to get paid. So Kyle Shanahan and Brock Purdy about to be tied like this once he signed that contract on that dotted line, man. And Shanahan going to go further, Brock Purdy going to go, and vice versa. If he flop, Kyle Shanahan, he out of a job. He will be looking for another job. Y'all can write that down, and y'all can take a picture. I'm, I'm, I'm not lying to y'all. If Brock Purdy signed that contract with them and they don't win no Super Bowl and he regressed because the because the 49 and lost players because they gave him his money, his ass is fired. I'm not lying to y'all. I've been telling y'all that all offseason last year. Kyle Shanahan is on a short, a short leash with the 49ers, man. It seemed like he cannot win big football games. That would have seemed like he better get the Super Bowl this year. The Eagles done got better. Other teams in the NFC done got better. We about to see what Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers is all about, man. Because these next couple of years for the 49ers, with Kyle Shanahan as a head coach, it's Super Bowl the bus. But y'all let me know in the comment section below, man. How do y'all feel about Kyle Shanahan and Brock Purdy relationship once they give him all that big money? Will that make or break Kyle Shanahan's career with the San Francisco 49ers? I think it will.